Okay, thought I would do a quick little how-to of what I did to create these two lampshades. They're identical as far as the design on them. And then I did the little mason jar because I just thought they looked adorable sitting on it. And these are the little battery operated tea lights that I found on Amazon and I just I like the way these look because it looks more like a candle sitting in your container. It takes three of the wine glass lampshade die cuts to make the two that I've shown here. First thing you're going to want to do is take one of the black ones and I just freehand did this so there's not a pattern you just kind of you know, I think it as I cut it just anything to represent like a little wavy hillside and then I did try to see that my two ends were approximately the same height since they're going to meet when you join the seam together so on this one what you will then do is actually glue your little hillside in the black onto the bottom because this one's going to kind of be a silhouette seam. And then I just took some black die cuts and I spaced my trees and then added the deer. like that had everything glued on then I just took a little bit of white acrylic paint on a dampened toothbrush and spattered it all with white made sure everything was dry and then apply my adhesive and just join the lampshade together so that's how easy it is to make the one using the craft in the black then for this one I used the remaining piece of the black shade and glued it even with the top edge of the white like that and then I used white die cuts and here I thought I would show the bare on this one I only cut two of the bare but you would do basically the same thing glue everything down and if you wanted to add any little shading here to look like snow drifts you can just add that in using either black ink or black acrylic paint and then I spattered everything in white and once everything was dry then just joined my seam together which is going to make on this one the top part of this shade a little thicker and a little heavier so you do have to kind of work it a little bit just to make sure you get your, your seam straight. I fiddled with it a few times and, and dry fit it and then knew exactly where everything needed to be for putting my adhesive on. So on this one, I thought I would go back because someone had asked me about moose and bear die cut shapes. And so I just wanted to show... The difference in oh, move my tree in if you had the little moose shapes that you would want to add, then you could, and these could be done the same way in the white, like the bear, or or you can use the bear. So any other dyes that you have that you can create little you know silhouette type scenes with they all go together basically the same type way so from the three die cuts one in the white one in the craft one in the black and a selection of silhouette die cuts you can create two beautiful unique Lamp shades that will look perfect on either the mason jar or they look just as good on the the wine glasses from the Dollar Tree. 
and I get the ones that have this tapered effect at the top, not the ones that are so big so that the, the lampshade sits down a little deeper onto the, the glass. So that's just how easy it was to make these silhouette looking lampshades.